Welcome to Edin Glow Unique Fashion and Design. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to cut this big traveling bag. If this is something you want to be learning, then this video is for you. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time we upload new videos like this. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for returning as well. So, without wasting much time, let's dive into the tutorial. So, for this traveling bag, I've already cut it out, but I will show the measurements and the sewing part as well. So, as you can see, this is the main body of the bag. This is the main body of the bag. The length is 18 inches, while the width is 15 inches. And I cut it into two. I have two of it. The lining is also two. So it will cut yours 18, um, 15 by 18 inches. You can see 18 by 15 inches, two pieces. This is the main body. Then for the base, the base is 18 inches, 18 inches length by 7.5. The base is 18 inches length by 7.5. So you can see it. We need only one piece of it. So for the sides, we need two piece lining and two piece leather for it. And the Measurement we need is 9 inches by 12 inches. And so for the pocket, we need about 8 inches by 7.5 inches. And we need only one piece for it. So these are the sides, the two sides. I'll be joining the lining to the two sides before I'll continue sewing. So at this point, I'll take the main body and mark the midpoint. I'll mark the midpoint on the up and the down part. take my outer pocket this is my outer pocket so I sew one side then I'll mark the midpoint of this outer pocket the down part of it I'll mark I'll notch it so when I notch it I'll take the notched part so the notched part of this one too I will then sew. Remember, notched part to the notched part. So you can see the outer pocket is ready. Put your hand inside now. This is the outer pocket. See it. So the next thing I'll be doing is to I'll come from this pocket side. I'll come in by half an inch. This way. On both sides. Now, from this pocket, where the pocket end, I'll go up by
by three and a half inches and mark i'll do the same thing to the other side three and a half inches so i'll mark a straight line from this half inch that i took inside For the longness for the net the net is 47 inches and i cut two of it so i'm going to be placing it this way i'll start i'll place it on this half inch that i took inside like this so that is where i'll be placing it and sew a straight line on it so i'm going to start from the under so i'll turn it like this I'm sewing it first before I sew the lining on it. This is because I need a neat finishing. So this is the second side of it. On this second side, I notched the midpoint and from the midpoint, I'm bringing out 3 inches on both sides. From this 3 inches that I marked this way, I'll come up by 11 inches. I'll do the same thing to this other side. I'll go up by 11 inches. This is my zip and this is the zip head and place it like this. Then I'll take this lining and place it on top of the zip. Head. So the zip will be on the middle. 
and I will sew on top like this. don't know the reason why I'm adding this to machine oil. This is to make it move smoothly. to this other side this is the other side the main base of it that is the second main base so I'll take this first one and place the zip like this on it I also take my lining and place it on it this way so you can see you make sure that the two leather will be equal like this. Now put your line on top. Your zip will also be at the middle part. Then so. Only the leather without line. Only the leather without line. So what you'll be doing at this point is to take your base. Hmm? You take your base. Take the middle point of your base and take one side of your of your main body and join it together like this. So you take it. You are going to be sewing it leather to leather and lining to lining this is to give you a neat finishing so you sew it this way so you take it like this and sew leather to leather and lining to lining this is to give you a neat 
it's finished. Just go on and carry. Although I'm using leather for it. If you are using an para, that means you will be adding an interface. So when you are done sewing, you can see that there is no lining on it. I flipped the lining on the main body to the other side for sewing. So I will now top stitch. In case you don't know the reason why I am adding this machine oil, this is to make the work easy. This is to make the sewing machine, the sewing machine to move on the leather because this is leather. So make sure you top stitch yours when you are sewing. Base. This is the base. So I'll sew it lining to lining. I'll flip this side of this lining. I'll flip this side of the lining to this other side of the lining and the leather. So I'm going to do it like this. Then I'll take this side of this leather. This is the main base. This is the base and this is the main body. So now I want to add the second, the main, the base. To the main body of the other side together with the lining and the leather of the second side as well. So just wash what I'm doing. So this is it. I'm done sewing it. Now I will turn it. I'll flip it to the other side. So you see that the main base, that is the base, is hidden now. The sewing did not show on any way of it. There's no sewing. There's no rough edges here. So I'll turn it to the other side now and So that is all you need to do for the final sewing of the face. That is the bottom part. bag is almost ready so this is the side this is the side I will on this upper part I will mark the I will notch this the middle line that is the middle I will notch it then this side I will also notch the middle too So from this middle, I'll come this way by half and, by two and a half inches. I'll also come to this other side by two and a half inches. Then from here, I'll come down by two and a half inches. I'll also do the same thing to this other side. So I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll use this side to cut this other side. So 
this is how it's going to look like. Then on this bottom part, come up by one. I'll come down. I'll go up by one inch on both sides. I'll also go inside by one inch too on both sides. Then I'll pull. I'll flip it over to cut the other side. In line. I'll take this. I'll take the midpoint of this, the upper part of this side. I'll take the midpoint. I'll put it on the center of the zip. The center of the zip of the main body will serve as my main as my midpoint. So I'll start sewing from there like this. Face it wrong side facing wrong side, right side facing right side. So I will, this is the midpoint of the side. So I'll place it on the middle of the zip this way and so. So this is the second side of it that I'm sewing. As you can see, I'm sewing it. And when I get to the end, I think that is the end of the, this tutorial. So if you have watched this video to this time, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified each time we upload videos like this. And in case you have any su suggestions, please feel free to put your uh, to leave your comments on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. So at this point what I'll be doing is to trim the edges and give it a neat finishing and the next thing I'll do is to take my piping bed to the pipe but I'm not using a piping bed, I'm using a, I'm using a, I'm using a, my line to do the piping so you can decide to use your piping belt or you can also decide to use your line. If you are using a line, you are going to mark 2 inches long strip and fold it into two and pipe so after piping that will be the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching and don't forget to turn on the notification bell like and share so that others can also get the can get the knowledge you've also acquired thank you so much for watching bye
If you have found this video helpful, leave a comment at the comment section to tell me. Please give this video a try. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.